Listen to this. All right, this is by Donna Kennedy, published April the 7th, 2023, updated on April the 8th. Now listen to this. Executives at companies like Nike, Anheuser-Busch, and Kate Spade, whose brand endorse, endorsements have turned controversial trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney into today's woke, in quotes, it girl, Dylan's a man. It girl aren't just virtue signaling. They're not just virtue signaling. They're handing out lucrative deals to what were once considered fringe celebrities because they have to. They have to. Or risk failing in an all-important social credit score that could make or break their businesses. At stake is their Corporate Equality Index. That's the CEI. The Corporate Equality Index score, which, which is overseen by the Human Rights Campaign, the largest LGBTQ plus political lobbying group in the world. The Human Rights Campaign has received millions from, speaking of the devil, George Soros, his Open Society Foundation, among others, issues report cards for America's biggest corporate va uh, via corporations via this CEI, awarding or subtracting points for how well companies adhere to what HRC calls its rating criteria. Businesses that attain the maximum 100 total points earn the coveted title. Look at this, best place to work for LBGTQ equality. 15 of the 20 ranked fortunes receive, fortune companies receive 100% ratings last year. More than 840 U.S. companies racked up high uh, CEI scores according to the latest report. And uh, look at this, the HRC which was formed in 1980. In 1980, the human rights campaign, why the church had shifted. And we're talking about to shake your neighbor's hand and say, you're going to be a millionaire. And we shifted to uh, uh, all this materialism. See, and, uh, and, and, and judging, supposing gain is godliness. While we were doing that, the human rights campaign organized with no opposition from the church at all because we were busy getting new shoes, listening to Copeland and all them. This stuff was going on. I've been telling you, and I've been telling you for a long time, and maybe one of these days you'll say amen. So the HRC was formed in 1980 and started the CEI, this wicked thing here, Corporate Equality Index. It started it in 2002. Oh my, we well into uh, the materialism by that time. Well into, oh, uh, uh, the charismatic movement, free grace, oh, the easy believism, you ain't got to worry about suffering for Christ, Christ suffered for us, oh, the preachers, the, when you bring a, a prophet to, to town, everybody was glad to see the prophet. And in the Bible, people weren't glad to see the prophet. You announce the prophet's coming, folk want to know, you know is, uh, is, it, uh, is it good? Are we good? Are we in trouble? What's going on? Praise the Lord. Now, so the prophet, or the prophetess is coming. People you haven't seen at church in years, they come because they want a word. That's an indictment on the prophet because they, they know, they know that whatever word is going to be given, they know that it will be a positive one and not a word of correction. And sometimes folks stand up and get some of the most powerful prophecies you ever seen, and the preacher standing there knowing they hadn't paid tithe in a year, hadn't been to church in six months, and all that stuff. And yes, the Lord said the Lord's going to do all that. And you stand there knowing God ain't doing none of that. That, that ain't going to happen. 
Because if, if that happens, the Lord is rewarding iniquity. See, while we were distracted, I've been telling you, while we were distracted, the world, the devil, doctrines of devils, evil spirits, in the world, in government, in business, was organizing. So, this was in 2000. Is led by Kelly Robinson, who was named as president in 2022 of this organization, and worked as a political organizer for Barack Obama. And in 2008, in his presidential campaign. So now here, the HRC has elicits its five. Rating criteria. I'm spending too much time on this. Each with its own lengthy subsets. So I'm going to read the five criteria for you. Number one, workplace uh, protections, five points. No discrimination for, uh, of employment for sexual orientation or gender identity. Number two, inclusive benefits, 50 points. Criteria here includes providing health care for uh, sex, sex couples, which is, which is same sex. We got sex, sex right here. All right. Number three, supporting an inclusive culture. Yes, 25 points. This is, this is including gender neutral dress codes and trans and inclusive restrooms and facilities. Now, now notice all this stuff. Notice the emphasis that they're putting on perversion. But the church world asks me, why do I preach against it? When, why you talk against it so much? But now, hey, somebody ought to ask them, why you all put so much in place for this? So all you preachers out there, you, you're the problem. You're the problem. Man, it's, like, it's like a team playing itself. I mean, if, if, if the Dolphins is playing and you look over across the field, there's no opposing team. You got to win. And that's, that's the way it's been. Satan's Satan been out there on the field with nobody opposing him. It's got to win. Look at this. Look at this. Number four, corporate social responsibility. 20 points. Uh, marketing and advertising to LBGTQ consumers, which would include Nike and Bud Light's use of transgender spokesperson Dylan Mulvaney. And now this is, this is not from somebody who's a member of the upper room. I told you it's New York Post. It's New York Post. I, to my knowledge, this person never been to our church. She don't even know, she don't even know we exist. And then number five, this 25, look at this one. Um, responsible citizens. Now this is minus 25. Points deducted. If a company gives money to organizations whose primary missions includes advocacy against LBGTQ equality, which is not defined, but could include Christian groups. This is why I said we got to be careful who we're partnering with. We're partnering, partnering. You better be careful. You got to be careful because all this stuff is designed to do is to water us down, make us a, a used-to-be church. Yeah, I remember when they preached holiness. I remember when they believed that this stuff was wrong. Now, they don't say anything about it no more. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. So, these people, um, uh, this, is, this is going on in the world. In the world in which we live. Can you believe that? Amen. Amen. 